All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, wife just got off work. It's about midnight, and she brought me a, one of those new apple caramel frosties, and they're, like, awesome. I highly recommend it if you need a break throughout your day. <laughs> a little pitch for Wendy's. Uh, I'm a sucker for Wendy's. So, okay, on to the part. So what I'll probably end up doing is I will end up bending these one for one way and one for the other. That way you don't have to worry about which one you're paying attention to. They simply just back up and uh, press them on. Now, uh, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to secure this in here. I'm probably just going to use my drill bit and just run it through. That way it stays on there. Use my fingers. I want to start folding the aluminum over. See how long I held on to that drill bit? <laughs> Not long at all. Once it starts folding over, I will square up the tab a little bit. And I'll start crimping it. God, am I doing this the right way? I wasn't even paying attention to my own instructions. Yes. <laughs> A little late in the game to be second guessing myself, I guess. Uh, let's fold it over, kind of crimp it on there. And those pliers, I might need to get some bigger pliers to really munch down on it. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'll get some bigger pliers. I'm trying to get it as tight on there as you can. You know, the, the plastic piece would slide off. This one doesn't move. I'll probably need to come in here and do it to this one. Voila. You, know, you got a little bit of play, but I mean the teeniest bit, which is about what you... But all you want, everything else is good. Now, you can see that I'm a little bit off on that, so you'll use your emery board to even it out, but what you want to do is you want to use that first hole that I drilled for you and use as a guide to drill your hole completely through. And this is where your, um, that little scissor piece is going to connect to this. All drilled through. Um, now this hole is going to be a little bit smaller, so this is where I use my files. I'll come in and make that hole a little wider. Now this also might be a mod worth trying off with the wheel off. Um, in fact, I'll just pop this little C-clip here and get it out of the way. That way you can actually grip onto this piece. Try and feed it in there. Good thing about aluminum is I'm actually putting threads in it, so it's making it tighter. So you want a good tight fit. Now that it's on there, I've actually threaded it on and it sucks it down. And that's going to help keep your nut on. Even though I still recommend thread locking it, that's going to help it out a lot. Um, so it's threaded on there. Take a little drop. And tighten it on. Of 
course, it'd be easier if I actually used a socket. But anyway, now it's sturdy, doesn't move, and that's you're almost done. We're almost to the put back together. But what you want to do is you want to take one of those screws out of that um, that scissor piece and try and put it in that hole. Okay, you're gonna to need to widen that hole just a little bit. So back to the file. Spin it in there. Uh, of course, this is easier if you just have a little bit bigger drill bit. I'm just not going through all that. It's easier for me just to grab the file and give it a few turns and see how it comes out. All right, so threads all the way through. It's time to put it back together. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the wheel on. Make sure that the one that has this triangle goes on the outside put the c-clip on all right c-clip is on that one I left it on here because I was only demoing this end so it just slides right on in I'll hold this and we'll thread it on Am I going the wrong direction with that? No, I'm going the right. Heh. <laughs> uh, I went the wrong way with the other one. So I must pay attention to which way you're going with it. Right, that one's good. Redo this one. I messed it up. I uh, actually put it on the wrong side. Um, it's not good. I might end up having to make a new one. Or I might get lazy and just go the other way with it. It'll probably work just the same. Alright. Got it sorted out. So they're both going the right direction. Uh, I just flipped it over. I cheated. And I don't know if it's going to bite me in the butt or not, but we'll see. Um, I have to do a little creative bending here. But anyway, what, what you need to look at is how straight this is in comparison to the wheel. Um, this is your toe in, your toe out, and how it mounts. Um, there you go, now you can see it. So, if you want more toe out or more toe in, you just bend these tabs one way or the other, and that'll give you your wheel alignment. So, should be pretty good. So, I want to mount them up, see how they look. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to flip you around here. See what we come up with. So the first one in is gonna be the one I just made. So we'll throw that in. I need my Phillips screwdriver, which has been hanging out over here. Now, the reason why this is curved and it's imperative that you go back and reshape that curve is that it fits inside this little arm. And I might end up having to do it some more. Yeah, I'm going to do it some more. I'm, I'm not quite where I need to be. I need to shave a little bit more off. I don't want to overstress that arm. So, this is one that you're going to have to kind of feel as you go you know do the best you can with it so once I trim it down and get it fitting I'll be right back